You know, growing up, I always pee the bed. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! There's an older guy. He touches me. What kind of is are you raising in your house? Like you think that's okay? I feel like people's like treating me so. <gasps> Welcome back to today's vlog! Ooh. Are you guys too traumatized to respond? Is that what's going on? We're doing something really controversial today which might get me cancelled in like three years but we're gonna do it anyway. It's called trauma dumping but in the form of entertainment. I literally called my sister and she's like, what video are you filming? And I said, ranking our childhood traumas. And she said, oh cool, so you're just trauma dumping with each other. Yeah, we're gonna have a little contest of who's more traumatized and the reason that this video came about was because one day, one night, my fiance was like, you don't know trauma. I was like, yeah I do. And he was like, you don't know trauma until you've lived the way me and Tiffany have lived. So <laughs> we're doing a trauma dump, okay? Just to put a little disclaimer, we're gonna keep it light. This is not the biggest problems that we have in our childhood, obviously. We're gonna keep out the illegal ones. Yeah, the <laughs> illegal ones where- It's all illegal. It's like someone's gonna come for your family member or you. Yeah, let's yeah. keep those out. We're Which only is like gonna talk about things that's mild. Dark is like getting groomed by a 30 year old when you're like 14 years old. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she said, okay. I'm not your therapist, I don't get paid for this. She said, okay, speed it up, girl. <laughs> okay, before I trauma dump on you guys, it's the holidays and nothing says ho, ho, ho like this delicious special candy cane right here. And you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctors away. But I'm serious, okay, for a minute here. Just be serious for a minute. You guys know that my fiance and I are big supporters of keeping it safe and fun and experimental in different aspects of our lives, if you guys catch my drift. And I recently found a ton of fun stuff on Adam and Eve that I can't wait to try out because it's getting chilly outside. You've got extra reason to want to be hot and steamy indoors. And trust me, these are the things that are going to get the job done. Adam and Eve have pretty much everything that you could be thinking of in terms of spicing things up and things that you probably didn't even realize existed. Look, they've been in business for over 50 years and they have so much that you can explore. And if you ever have any questions, I love the fact that they have 24 seven customer support and they also have discreet packaging which is super important if you live with roommates or you just don't want your mailman to know what's up in your business. There's also a 90 day no hassle returns, but my favorite part is that Adam and Eve will donate 20% of their profits towards help fighting the spread of HIV around the world. So make sure you go to adamandeve.com and use code MANGO to get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. That's adamandeve.com and use code MANGO for 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions may apply and thank you Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the trauma. So yeah. I have decided that I'm gonna do very specific ranks for our childhood trauma, okay? The number one rank is been there, done that, you ain't special. That's the lowest rank. It's like everybody's okay, had so that. I'm gonna keep scores. Yeah. <laughs> Cause so it's a competition. It's every, the uh, second one is character development. This just added flavor to your life. And then the third one is, have you tried better help? <laughs> <laughs> the next one is, officer, someone needs to be arrested. And then the last one is, I hope you don't have cats. Well, Cause you're f***ed up in the head and serial killers kill their cats. Okay, I don't know if we're going that dark. Well, we'll see. I feel nervous. Please don't cancel us for this video. We're literally just doing it to cope with our random small childhood traumas. Yeah, They're not even... Us. And also, don't try to out-trauma us. We are leaving out the dark stuff. This is not the biggest worries we've had in life. So with that being said, who wants to go first? Maybe you said. Okay, I'll go first. I have these written down, okay? <laughs> so when I was younger, in elementary school, I just befriended a lot of tomboy girls. I feel like that term is gonna get canceled sometime soon, but all of the friends that I had, they were not girly girls. They didn't wanna freaking play with dolls. They wanted to go outside and skateboard. So they were telling me, we're sitting in the neighborhood one day, and they're telling me, do you eat bugs? And I said, no, I don't eat bugs. And they're like, you're dumb if you don't eat bugs. And I was like, well, essentially, the conversation didn't go like that, but that's pretty much what they said. They were like, oh, you've never tried eating bugs? Are you scared or something of bugs? Are you scared of bugs? And I was like, I'm not scared of bugs. And one of them goes, we eat ants all the time. So what do I do? What do I do? I go, same, because I want to fit in. How so, old were you? <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> like, it's the type of age where we were still making, like, getting the s soil and making mud pies. Do you know what I'm uh, talking about? So we're like... <laughs> 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 so I'm like, yeah, I eat ants. 
we run around the neighborhood for the next 30 minutes finding ants and I grew up in Georgia where the ants here you've seen them in a vlog or two they're the size of like they're pretty big they're this big they're the big black ants we avoided all the red ants we found a bunch of big lone black ants a bunch yeah what and so they would take one and just pop it in their mouth and eat it their mouth or your mouth their mouth it gets worse I've never told you this story because I'm so embarrassed Wait, and I'm they gonna actually ate it? I literally want to gag thinking about it I ate it too <laughs> I just want to fit in. I just want to have friends. And if I go, ill ants, they're not going to be friends with me. So I, I grab an ant and I put it in my mouth. And I remember thinking like, Holy. I can't bite it because it's going to pop because the ant's butt is big. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I vividly remember how big the ants were. And I was like, oh my God, the butt is big. And I don't know what's inside. Maybe it's all juice, right? So I remember just swallowing it. And we were running around doing this for like 30 minutes. So I ate like a handful of ants. <laughs> so I eat a handful of ants. And then because I didn't um, bite them, I start feeling like they're in my throat <laughs> probably, right? And I start feeling like it's so itchy. Like I remember itching my own neck like this because I'm so young. And then I get so nauseous out of nowhere. I remember running and everyone's running downhill and I had to stop and I, ugh, I throw up. No. Okay, no, this is where the trauma is. Yeah. We're not even at the trauma what? point. The this is the trauma. My throw up wasn't like food throw up. It was like that you're not really supposed to be throwing up type of throw no. up. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like you're almost forcing it out. Uh -huh. It was like that white foamy throw up uh -huh. and I just see black dots yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Ah, disgusting. What did it taste like? The ants actually don't taste that weird. She swallowed it too. Yeah. Ooh. So you threw them all up? I don't know if it was all. Oh. And then? Yeah. And then I just stopped. Like I went with you the left? friends again. Yeah. No, I still hung out with them. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? That's not the first time I ate ants. When was the first time? <sighs> oh, okay. So another time that I ate things that I shouldn't eat, this was at church. There was oh, like- Oh, wait, wait, I thought you were going to talk about your first time eating ant. Oh, yeah. The ant was on the flower petal and this girl was like, I eat flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and they would, it was almost like a flex. Like, you know how people flex, I don't know, like Lamborghinis now? Back then in my neighborhood, if you grab a leaf or a flower and you just bite into it, that was the ultimate flex. Wow. So she's like munching on flowers. So I grabbed a flower and ate it and there were like tiny little ants on them. Ah! Exactly. Not gonna lie, yeah. I thought the trauma was they say, Oh, you eat ants, so all of them they pick up ants. You know, ants are so small, you just put between your finger and they pretend to eat it. Oh, all of them just like, Oh, you pretend to eat it, you hold it. So yeah, tiny. they're still holding it. No, but these ants were big, they ate it. Yeah, that's disgusting. Okay, wow, oh, yeah. that's crazy. Do you guys want to break my trauma? Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay, so I wouldn't say I've been there because <laughs> I've been worse. <laughs> Anyways, I was sit next one is character development or, or try therapy. Have you tried better better help? Do you think you need better help for this? I actually haven't touched my therapist about it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe What's it's I think it's that? character development. I think so too. Yeah. It's not I enough. Like okay. I don't imagine myself telling my therapist okay. next week. Yeah. yeah. That's two points to your book. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see if you guys can beat me. All right, so back in the day, yeah. when I was in Korea, uh -huh. this is normal. Like you're in Korea as you're visiting Korea. No, he was born in Korea. Born. So, oh, uh, how this old were you? When I was like five, four. Oh, okay, five and, year old trauma. You know, when like parents it. hit you, it's normal. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not abusive, guys. It's normal. Usually they'll hit me with like you know, smack me, you know, uh -huh. with the hand, not too hard. Uh -huh. Yeah. But then uh, one day I went to on, on a trip and I picked up this stick because I was like in love with Harry Potter. <laughs> 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 I had a huge imagination back then. It was like a wooden stick, and I brought it home. And then one day, when and I your got, mom used it, <laughs> and I don't know what the reason was when I when I got in trouble, but um, I think oh it, I think it was pretty serious, and uh, she used a stick. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> she used a stick. She used her wand. <laughs> yes. Against you. Oh. On my butt. Did she go? On my butt. Did, Did she, she go? go? <laughs> No, she can ah! No more picking up sticks, no more. Yeah. I think we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> you, my grandma would literally go downstairs to pick those wood the the cleaners. <gasps> you know broomstick, that the one with the bamboo? Bamboo stick. Oh, the really yeah. hard bamboo no, ones. No. So those hurts really bad because she pulled like one out. If actually, if you get a, a big bunch, the bigger the surface, it's not think about bad. it. The bigger the stick, the thicker the stick, the less it hurts. Because all your force is distributed. 
That's what she said, yeah. The thinner the stick, <laughs> yeah. all the force is on like the thin thing. So if she whips it once, you get oh, a it mark and it will, it will, sometimes oh. it will bleed. Oh yeah, they said this so, one is actually the best one because it leaves the marks, uh, it, it leaves the scars, but it won't leave it the will heal. mark. Yeah, it, it will heal. It will it's heal, not, no. it will scar, it will, go, it will be gone. It will be gone. But it will, a lot of times, it will leave a mark and even bleed. So, Are you guys okay? <laughs> that's, I think that's yeah. worse than mine. Yeah, no, I guess no, you can. One, one point? One, okay, one that. point. You know how our parents came to America very early when mm. we were young and they left us with grandparents uh -huh. So I was so scared with my grandma uh, My mom was like staying a couple days or months with us There's one day she just left without I know Like I woke up, I kind of know she's going somewhere but I always go with her Because I'm scared to stay at the house with my grandma So I always go with her But then she just left, one day they put me on sleep like a nap or something, and that wake up, she just left. Who left? From America? To America. Oh, your, your mom, mom never said, well, I'm sure she never said goodbye to me either. I was crying so bad, and because I'm so scared of my grandma. I think from that on, I have so bad of like okay, people man. leaving me. I feel insecure about that. She's mm. abandoned me in shoes. I didn't know that. Yeah, you should talk to a therapist. About that's that. definitely better. That's better. Help. Yeah, that's a bit better. Help. You talk to... It's really bad. Those emotional stress when people left me. Okay, you get three points. Wow. Wow. You know, my dad did that to me once. Oh my god. He moved to Korea and he said, "I'm going on a trip. I'm gonna be back for your birthday, right?" Uh -huh. He came back. Like a few years ago. Oh my this god. Is, he left when I was like six, no, nine. Oh my and god. he came back a few years ago. <laughs> it's just getting juicy. In school, we have to wear uniforms. The uniforms, like, you have to buy it. Like, we were pretty poor. You're not poor, don't say that. Yeah. But we were. My uniform is the old one. Okay, you because know, I don't think it was because you guys were lacking money. I think your grandparents were so. Uh, no, 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 no. Through. They were, they were, oh. they were pretty tight. They're yeah. saving money. Yeah. No, no, they were pretty tight. Okay. Well, you don't okay. know. You don't know the finance of it. No, I do. I just you feel don't. like old people. They Grandpa just... told me there are months that they were like. All right. <laughs> For example, this season is green, right? Uh -huh. Stephanie's wearing green. Link will, to the description. And I will. I will still be wearing the same uniform from a couple years ago, which is blue. Mm. So during the class photo, uh -huh. you know, they take take a group photo with yeah. everyone. So you will see me, because I'm wearing blue, Aww. everyone will wear green. But at least I'm still wearing a uniform, so the teacher wouldn't say anything. This teacher won't, they, they won't say like, oh, you have to wear a uniform. But mine is just a couple seasons old. Did you get like, made fun of or? No, nobody made fun of me. I was just embarrassed all the time. Like I never felt like I blend in, you know? I've been wearing old guys clothes. <laughs> yeah. His clothes is for our oldest cousin, is also a guy. And then the guy passes him, and then he passes me. <laughs> so I don't even wear girl clothes. So All I okay. wear is guys clothes. So some of my uniform are from my cousin. <sighs> that's older than me. Dang. So he's like a couple couple grades <laughs> older. So I will wear his <laughs> uniform. And then when I'm done, it will pass it to Tiffany. <laughs> I barely, oh, I barely have girls clothes. My only girls clothes come from is our little, there's a little girl cousin. Uh -huh. She's younger than me, but she's my grandma's other family's daughter. She's younger than me, and she will basically. I don't buy clothes. I just getting clothes from most of God from guys. Only some mm -hmm. couple from girls. most from me. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Come check out my oh. mom is here. This is oh. her trauma, though. Uh, <laughs> Oh, she got a lot of trauma. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, honey. I feel like you started the trauma, but then your sister ended it with a bang. Because after you she wore that blue you. uniform, she wore the blue uniform <laughs> two years later. I don't remember those. I always embarrassing. Oh. Like, oh. I always those also, little girl. I also remember, I wear the pants. And the pants, because it was old. Um, <laughs> gosh. Oh my god! You told me this! <laughs> like, it's like joggers, for example. That's the uniform. And then because it's old, it will always like break. Like rip? In, yeah, in, in the middle. <laughs> so if it's like ripped a little bit, I would just like walk really like slowly. Cause there's oh a God. seam in between you to the oh, crotch. If it rips a lot, then I would just like never move all day. Oh <laughs> and I would go home and ask grandpa, grandpa, can you sew it together? <laughs> and she did? He did, yeah. yeah and then our shoes, oh, I was telling Stephanie this. Oh, yeah, they we only get one pair of shoes. 
I never understood like people have more than one pair of shoes. So we get one pair and then we'll wear the pair until the sole <laughs> fall off. <laughs> So we were walking around like a flip flop, wow. and then we'll stop by those bicycle shop on the side of the street, and they will glue it together, and then we'll keep wearing it until like our toe, big toe, is poking out. <laughs> yeah, but that was back of those times. Yeah. Not, I think average people, a lot of people were doing. A lot of people did that today. Well, because <laughs> wasn't China like different times yeah, back then? But, like it's not yeah. like the U.S. where it was pretty consistent. Yes, yes. yes. But it's pretty embarrassing yeah. though. But don't you feel like it adds character to yeah. your life? Yeah, it definitely adds character. Yeah. It adds so much perspective when Stephanie starts complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow. So funny. Is she really talking about how much blister this new <laughs> pair of shoes is giving wow. her right now? You know we wear our shoes in the summer. It's so freaking hot between our toes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. It has those, um, it's not blisters. Fungus? Not fungus. It cracks. Oh, calluses. It cracks between, not calluses, because yeah. it's from moisture. It kind of like that, and it never heals. It's like hurts so much, it hurts like every toes, and it never heals. Mm -hmm. So it will always crack, and it's just painful when you walk because it's so hot. Wow. Yeah. What a glow up. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. last night he was like, I need some winter shoes. Yeah, let me order one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one? Yeah. No, that's kind of. This one's tough. like. You need a better help? No. I, okay. Yeah, this one's yeah. therapy. I think it's character development. Oh, really? Character development, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Character it's, development. It's, it's, it's kind of sad, but it builds Wait, character. You right? became yeah. a better man. Back to you. Yikes. I don't know why I didn't save this one for first, because now after that. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> This is not my biggest trauma, but I just remember it very vividly, and I don't know why. And I think it has to do with the fact that I cried a lot as a kid. You think I cry a lot now? When I was a kid, I would burst into tears no matter the setting. I would just cry nonstop, and it was so f***ing embarrassing, okay? I'm in the car. This is when I'm like six, and my sister is like 12. So my sister's in the car with her best friend, and my mom is driving, mm -hmm. and it's nighttime, and this friend is going to sleep over at our house. And I... All I ever wanted in life was to be cool like my older sister because she's not even like one year older She's six years older So I always wanted to be a part of her friend group because I felt like that was the cool kids She hated it. She did not want me to be a part of her friend group So we're in the car and this is around the time when like mean girls and all that like that was trending So the way that girls talked back then was very different so my sister and her friend, <laughs> they're still friends to this day, so I know this person really well, but they were talking about what they should eat for dinner. And my mom is like, yeah, you guys pick something, like we can order something or like stop by, so hurry up and pick. Mm -hmm. And then one of them was like, ooh, should we go eat like hibachi? <laughs> and my sister would be like, ew, hibachi? <laughs> and then the friend would be like, your face is ill. <laughs> And then she'd be like, what do you think is better than? This is like how everybody talked back then. Yeah. And then my sister would be like, maybe like, I don't know, <laughs> sushi? And then the friend would be like, ew, I just had sushi. <laughs> so then I, the whole time I'm listening to this and I am thinking of, okay, wow. like, when do I talk? When do I talk? <laughs> when do I like, like casually join oh this God. conversation? So I feel like I'm one of the girls, right? And then one of them was like, and I remember it to this day. And I thought this friend was like the coolest friend ever. She goes, should we just go home and eat like spaghetti? And I go, <laughs> Ew, it's like worms. <laughs> Ew! Oh. No, no, that's not even the worst word. So that's cringe, right? I go, ill, it's like worms, right? Because I'm trying to talk like them and be cool oh like them. God. Oh my Are god, I'm getting gonna... silent. And then <laughs> the friend goes, Why would you say that? Oh and I go, What? <laughs> and she goes, Why would you say that? Like, that's just disgusting what's wrong with you <laughs> and immediately I'm crying right <laughs> but I don't want them to know that I'm crying <laughs> I don't want them to know that I'm crying because that's so embarrassing right so I start looking out the window like this and my mom goes Muro? and she goes Stephanie are you crying oh my God. and when someone asks if you're crying you cry more so I start crying more and I go no, I'm not crying. And, the tears coming out. and I'm crying. And my sister goes, You're so stupid. <laughs> Actually, like, how you guys talk? Okay, this is like probably.
probably exaggerated, but- I mean, how'd the guys talk back then? Yo! Yo! Ew! Yo, <laughs> And I just remember that so vividly, because why was that ill? That was the end of the trauma? <laughs> End of trauma. Fin. That's it. Uh, do you think you need to therapy for that? <laughs> character development. You think that to develop your character? Um, I guess not. <laughs> I guess. Is this even like been there done that or? I mean, it's shall I be? I mean, have you talked yes. like that? Yeah, Okay, it's crying and then being embarrassed about crying. Mm, Been there, okay, done that. Fine. Yeah, I, I, yeah. All right, fine. Come on I'll now. give you one point. Thank you so much. Okay. Later. Wait, you're, are you talking about my third grade? Okay, wait. Just to give you clarification, we cut this off because I had to order some food, and now they're arguing about who got to go wait, out. Wait, wait. <laughs> Tiffany is saying. And they like, go out. You never really? go. Out. And she's saying I always go out to birthday parties. And I was yeah. like, I probably went to three birthday parties. <laughs> like here. Grandma oh, always let you go hang out. No, like, that's not true. I, I never got to get out. So in house. in the in the elementary school, you say I go to birthday I parties. Think so or yeah, elementary. I remember. Which one? Like the they're one in like the third those grade. Girl, oh, those boys and girls, they're like uh, really smart. Like has a good grades. Is it like when I was in third grade? I don't remember what grade. That's too deep. Oh wait, the so one I talked about the birthday. Oh yeah. I already birthday. talked about it. So oh, when I was I remember, in third grade. Yeah. You remember what? But I don't remember it's a trauma, but you were exciting to tell me like, oh, they have like this. Is it the one that they have like crazy party? I know, I remember you guys even took a group before. Yes, yes, and that's the one. Oh, I remember they're rich though. They're rich, yes. Yeah, rich. rich. And the, all the kids are dressed up really They dress cute. really pretty and, and really I was, cute no, that was a bad memory for oh, me. Dang. He's traumatized. Why? We never really have birthdays. So when I go to that birthday, it's like a uh -huh. juxtaposition. When the birthday boy's mom start bringing me food, uh -huh. I feel so overwhelmed. I started crying. Uh -huh. And then they're like, why are you crying? And then I start, oh, and I feel so embarrassed. Food? Give me more food. I cry even more. Uh -huh. And then yeah. all the kids are like, oh. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm just crying and I feel so embarrassed. And then all night, everyone's like treating me so nice, which made it even worse. Cause like, why are you Because you weren't used to that? I'm not used to that. And I feel like people's like treating me so- oh, She's crying. I'm not crying. I'm gonna cry. This girl, stop crying. Oh this girl's crying. Give her some tissue, five cents. Five cents, five cents. Yeah, that was a trauma wow. thing for me. Wow, okay, yeah. it's trauma for me and also trauma for him. I think oh. neither of us. You need bed help? Yeah, you guys think that's, be that's better. Bed help. Help. Yeah, better yeah help. that that's is better definitely help. better no. help. Okay, maybe better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it's your turn. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice turn. yeah. So from first grade to fifth grade, I hung out with uh, kind of bad influence people, like mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. And one of them actually, I'm not gonna name who, but we're actually good friends. Like he wasn't actually nice to me, but he just chose bad like choices. But like what? Give us some. Yeah, cause I'm like, how's a first grader um, a bad influence? <laughs> it, it was just bad influence. All right. Like what? Then and you, we're like, talking about trauma. Like, we would think down the dish. What'd you say? Ding oh, dong ding dish. Dong like dish. Like oh. when we're like first grade. That's so bad. That's normal. Well, back then, shit. that's crazy. That was crazy. Considered the crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's trauma. That's okay. good. Nah, but listen, that's not the yeah. crazy part. Like the crazy part is um, his dad. You know, whenever I go to his house, like he would always be nice and cook food, and yeah, he never got mad. Yeah. But then when I was in high school, one of my good friends like, sent me a picture, uh -huh. and it was like a noose, like from Georgia. You I know, know this. That? Okay, continue. Like for real? He took his own life. No. Oh, never mind. Wrong uh, the dad actually essayed two underage girls. So I was so shocked. I, like at first, I couldn't believe it. And that's the one that you used to go to his house. Yes, and then so I was like kind of glad I cut him off. Like once middle school started. Or, it went on the news? Well, I don't know about the news. I think Georgia news, yeah. Oh, so you saw it on the news? No, no not news. I got I got a picture from the web, like, article. Oh, on the web. And he's in jail now. Oh, my God. Well, I don't oh. know if he came out, but I hope hmm. not. Officer. Wow. So I was like, wow, if I kept hanging out with him, maybe, like, he could have done that to, like, yeah. I don't know, my family fr members or friends. I was so Wow. Bad. I was, like, mind blown. Yeah. How do you feel? Do you feel well, like you need therapy? for that or not really but I, I, love your I was like kind of grateful like yeah. I cut him off but yeah. it was a little bit still shocking you know yeah so what do you feel do you feel like it's therapy or is it a character development I or? think I gotta call the police four points 
No, no, no. But it's on you. It's about like oh, how it yeah, affects yeah. you. Yeah. Well, related, like, it's definitely not character development. Yeah, character development. It's something you experience. I'm not talking about that guy. That guy's in jail, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're talking about how does this impact you? Oh, yeah. Like, do you mm -hmm. feel like it's something you need to talk to a therapist about? Like, you have trauma from it, so you need to talk to someone no. to... Okay, then it's... Is it character development then? It yes. You... I, I think maybe we shouldn't say character development. No, Let's just say level two. I, I, okay, I level two. Level right. two. Because okay, so we're not going to use someone's two. essay as character right, development. Right, you're right. Okay, right. I mean, I'm level just going two. for your chart. I didn't know this story was going to be like <laughs> this. I <laughs> thought it was going to be nah, my defecating worm no story. No shocking, though, for real. <laughs> okay, so you get two points. All right, Tiffany. Are we going too dark yet? <clears throat> Too dark? You want to go dark? Go dark. Okay, let's just say this one. You know how grandparents <sighs> always hitting us? But I feel most embarrassed trauma in childhood is like my grandma do that in front of my neighbor and the whole building knows. Outside the door. It's not even like close to the door <coughs> hit you. She would drag me out in the building and hit me in front of the neighbor and all the neighbor just come out be like, Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, uh, she just a kid. Don't do that too hard and stuff. Oh, I feel it's just so embarrassing. Like all the building, the whole building knows our family. And also even the whole neighborhood knows her. She's so strict to the child, grandchild. And it's just so embarrassing. Every time she hit me and beat me, it was just in front of the whole neighbors. And, and also like, for people who say like, someone should call the cops. In China, cop, like back at them, cop wouldn't a have issue. care. Yeah. Family family like, like this was what, probably 10, 15 years ago. It's not it's a big deal. It's like just normal. parents it's are normal. Yeah. teaching child. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think also both of you guys really hate the feeling of pity. I think most people hate it, but I realize both of you guys really hate the feeling of pity. How would I you guess. describe pity? If anyone ever looks like they pity pity. him, he gets repulsed. Yeah, he does. But whereas like, if I feel like people pity yeah, me, I'm like, okay. oh. I but feel like, like, it's okay, but I won't be that strong. So it's uh, okay, it's okay. 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 That, I think, is definitely officer. No. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Crazy. You should have yeah. called. That's because that that's really bad. That that's is illegal no, in a lot of China, countries. It just but even, China. no, but today, but in even USA, today, oh yeah, I don't today think, in China, no, in and China, no, America yeah. maybe is too strong. No, in China today, no, any like, child is normal. Not in like front that. of people, like just whipping someone, like in the hallway. You think people is not gonna call the police in China? Or say something? A ki hearing a kiss screaming? <laughs> like Koreans are similar to yes. Chinese where you hit behind closed yeah. doors. But if someone did that outside, Koreans would call the police too. Yes. Like you guys are so serious. Yeah. Today, it's no longer like this. People are getting more and more realized you can just hit kids wherever you want, however you want. At least I hope. From what I've heard, like people would. If you are in China and you see someone like treating their kid like that in the hallway, would you call police? Would you do something? Of course you would do something. I'm trying to give you four points. <laughs> I, I did it, man. I said, come on. I so much. Too much points? You don't want to win? <laughs> the most traumas girl. You don't want to win the trauma game? This one's really weird. It's psychological, okay? So this one happened at church and the religious trauma is just Coming back into my body immediately. I'm risen from the dead with religious trauma. Let me just tell you something about church. Church should be its own little story. Church should be its own little category where I should get 25 million points. I used to go to church every Fridays and Sundays and this church was consisted of the most devilish congregation I've ever seen in my mother life, okay? I have, I was at that church. Yeah, you included. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like it was, and I'm not even talking about kids my age. The adults were the most bad, crazy. I don't even want to call them adults now that I'm an adult. I would never behave this way, but they would straight up call me a 13 year old, a slut, because what? an 18 year old was dating me. Your 18-year-old son is dating a 13-year-old. Who's the problem here? Me, the 13-year-old who got groomed, or your 18-year-old pervert son? <sighs> anyway, that's a different story. That's a different story. Calm down. just got Sorry. serious. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I should get points for that, but it's fine. Okay, anyway, I hated this church, and um, it wasn't just the adults, which, mind you, the adults were rancid. They're all going to hell, every single one of them, and when I get to hell, I'm going to be like, I knew you'd be here, I've been waiting. <laughs> now you're going to heaven. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Exactly. Thank and they straight up used to bully my mom to the point where my mom didn't even go to church because they would tell my mom like, oh my god, the head pastor straight up told my mom once, your kids are horrendous and you're raising your daughter to be a slut, but maybe God will forgive you. 
And then he stole like five million dollars from the church. So oh like, my god. Anyway, some of the kids were intense, okay? And the kids, I don't want to judge them because I don't know them as adults. And the last thing I would want is for someone to judge me as a kid, right? And like things I did as a kid. So I'm sure these people are great people now, I hope. Especially because like the generation we live in, you know, people grow up, they get woke and they're like, oh, I can't believe I did that. So this is not a reflection of them now, but back then, they used to bully me. And like, maybe I was bulliable. Maybe I was asking for it. Yeah, in church, I know. That's God is hearing. Oh, God, nice. Yes. Did you know most of my trauma is from church? From adults? The pastors? What kind of church is that? Sometimes religious, organized religion has some of the most evil people I've ever met. Oh my god. Like even cults judgmental. technically are- Yes! Oh so my judgmental! Did the Bible tell them how to be a nice oh, yeah. guy? No, because sometimes like mm -hmm. some of them thinks anything that you're doing that's not the same as them is sin. Yeah. And evil. And some of them are just straight up evil people. Yeah, okay? straight up evil because the mom of the 18 year old that was trying to date me when I was 13 was really popular at church and she would be in the same group that would call me a slut. Like she basically was telling people that I was being so slutty that I was going after her pure son. Your son is a fucking idiot. Anyway, the trauma is actually a lot lighter. That's my dark trauma that's not included in this. So disregard. Okay. Bro, I think that's like 10 points. <laughs> okay, I used to get bullied. And there was always like these three to four girls and there was one girl in charge, you know them. There was like one short girl one? in charge. The short one. Uh, the, it's always the we small ones. We went to the same one? Yeah, we went to the same church. Yeah. So she's like the shortest of us all. She's crazy. And she crazy. Well, she was crazy. I'm sure she's a great person now, but she was fucking crazy, okay? She was like Regina George on crack, but like seven years old. <laughs> seven. What? You know? Only seven. Wow. Yeah, so like some days, this is like the energy that I would go to. Some days I would go to church and they would tolerate me. So I could sit on the edge and I could like talk to them. And then if they're in a good mood, they'll go like, <laughs> yeah. But if they're in a bad mood, they would sit there and smirk and go, did you hear something? <laughs> I didn't hear any. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. I'm literally about to cry. Oh my God. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm like you were talking? Yes. I'd be like, oh my God, like blah, blah, blah. And be like, look at this. And then she'd be like. Do you hear She'd be something? Like, Do you hear something? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the stupidest trauma. I love that I'm not even crying about being groomed as a 13 year old. sister though? Oh my god, and then my sister? Isn't she there? So my sister is six years older than me, and most of them, except for one of them, no, two of them didn't have older sisters, but two of them had older sisters that were close to my sister's uh -huh. age. And my sister, when I came home crying every Sunday, she went to church in the middle of church, cussed out the older sisters. Wow. Like, what is, what is yeah. Sister. And I just remember that moment. Yes. And I was like, wow. oh my God, this is Would like. Would she never go with you to the church? No, because she can't, like she has like a, she okay. hung out with older people. So she didn't also go to church as often as I did. Uh -huh. And then um, she couldn't yell at people my age because uh -huh. there's like six years younger yeah. than her. So she would yell at the sisters and be like, you guys are really bad older sisters. Like what kind of kids are you raising in your house? Like you think that's okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. And they literally had to like pull her off that. I still don't remember that's this day. Yeah, and so she'd sit there and be like, do you hear something? Oh my gosh. So then I was like, okay, I gotta be cool. <laughs> so I begged my mom to buy me those Nintendo DSs, you know? So I would like bring it. And if they were gonna ignore me, then I would act like I didn't say anything and I would just play on my Nintendo DS as if that's what I wanted to do. But in reality, I'm like listening to everything and I'm like, oh my God, I wish they talked to me. So then one day, I'm playing my Nintendo DS and I have my favorite game, okay? Like I had just gotten this game. And like each game, Game is an SD card, you know? <laughs> and they're being mean to me that day. So I'm playing my Nintendo DS and the head in charge or whatever is like, oh, is that that game? Yeah, it's that game. Oh and then she's God. like, oh, no. can I borrow it? Oh no. <sighs> Don't tell me she broke it. It's like really complex. I might be the one that traumatized her, okay? Oh. So she's like, can I borrow it? And I did not want to give it to her because I love this game yeah. and like my mom just bought me this game and I did not want to like, I just really wanted to keep this game. Mm -hmm. So she's like, can I borrow it? Let me borrow it, I'll give it to you next Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's like, you can borrow my game. And her game was like, I already had and it was like old. So I'm like, why would I want to exchange my new game that just came out and everybody wants it for your old game that I already have it? <laughs> so I said, well, you can't borrow it right now because I'm like doing something on it. 
Huh. But I'll oh. mail it to you. Right. I said, I'll mail it to you with no intention of wanting to mail it to her. I don't even know how to mail things. Yeah, I'm like, I. Exactly. So I go, I'll mail it to you tomorrow. What? And she goes, I will email it to you tomorrow. I was on a text message back then. And then she goes, and then this is like, like church. What? Yeah, so it's not like you guys live in the same area. They actually live like 40 minutes away from me. So she's like, okay, and she, still kind of she kind of didn't ignore me the rest of the day and i remember being like oh my god like she actually likes me and i was even thinking like maybe i'll say i forgot to mail it and then next week i'll say i'll mail it and then she'll be nice to me again because she thinks i'm gonna give her my game you know yeah oh my god so sad so then the next sunday rolls around uh -huh. Literally, I remember this like a movie. They storm into the room before service starts together, like in a group. And I feel like they probably Talk talked about it before. And they walk in like this. Oh my God. And they're like, I didn't get the mail. Oh my gosh. And so now I felt like I was in too deep. Now I can't say, oh, I forgot. So I go, why well, mailed it? And she's like, why didn't you get it? Well, I mailed it. It must have gotten lost in the mail. And then she Sorry. goes, then where did you put the stamp. I'm like six. I don't know where the stamp goes. So I go in the middle <laughs> and she goes, it's not supposed to be in the middle. And I go, yeah, no, I put like everywhere. Like I put one in the middle too. I can't even visualize it. I don't even know what a stamp is at that point. So I'm like, I like put one in the middle too. And then she was like, did you write a big like B on it? And then I was like, yeah. And they're like quizzing me. <laughs> it was so stressed. Yeah, I don't. That should have been the red flag. Not, yeah. And then she's like, did you put a big B on it? And I was like, yeah, I did. And she goes, why would you put a big B? <laughs> oh my god. And then I remember being like, like, bye Stephanie. <laughs> like, bye What's Stephanie. So? And I was like, so B and bye. <laughs> And I remember I refused, I refused to just be like, you know what, I did mail it because I don't want to give it to you. And in that moment, I know what you're thinking, Stephanie, you're the liar, like you're the one that f***ed up, right? But that feeling I had where I was too scared to say no and I just wanted this girl to like me, yeah. I remember that feeling so vividly and it disgusts me. Every time I feel that feeling, I get so repulsed. I like want to shake little Stephanie and be like, what Why is wrong with you? Right? Who cares about these oh stupid girls? Are they like physically touching you or? No, it's like Verbal. for some reason you still. Yeah, so strong vibe? No. People right. want to belong. You want to make friends. Like feel like you a part of something. Yeah. You don't want to be a weirdo. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's pretty traumatic, but it's not even that traumatic. But they were just so I, I think, think I need to so call police. Just on the emotion, I think bro. that's like a five. That's ten. Five is like, I Go hope you don't jump. turn into. Would <laughs> <laughs> you kill those girls? No, that's what's crazy. What's crazy is I feel like I hate them. Like I picture them as five, and I really hate them. I really like I picture them at that moment, and I hate them. But then I think about some that I did when I was seven, and I'm like, God, I hate me too. Wait, you bully someone else? No, but okay. like, you know, you just do weird when you're seven and you're like trying to figure out how to like be a part of this social world. I think yeah. we need better help. I think so too. At least better help. Nah, I'll give her 10 points, dude. Okay, I'll give you four points. Thanks. Is that fair? <laughs> four points, okay? Yeah. Then, uh, now, I don't know if I can beat her. Um, <laughs> beat believe, her. believe in yourself. <laughs> I won't. You know Jurassic Park? Oh, I the saw movie. the movie. Yeah. Yes. Oh. yeah. So when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I went to this, uh, it's like a Disney World in Korea, mm -hmm. but it's not Disney World. There's a dinosaur. I don't know. It was scary to me, okay? And then I had a dream the next night. I was trapped in a cage uh -huh. with a friend and the T-Rex is there throwing like a blue flame. I don't know. That, at that time when I was a kid, yeah. I was scary and it felt so real. Mm -hmm. You know, I love toys back in the day so whenever I go to Target mm -hmm. I get so excited in the toy section yeah. but I always close my eyes and not like I always skip the the Jurassic Park toys but then you never watched the new but then one? in high school I, there was like one of the girl I liked her and my fr our friend group were planning to go watch Jurassic Park the new one and uh, I just had to do it I don't want to look like like Weenie a baby wussy you know like uh -huh. yeah so I just overcame and it wasn't that bad I you conquered. came, you conquered. Right, so I think that's a character development. <laughs> he gave himself two points. <laughs> well, you gave yourself two points. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
Respectfully, I'm gonna give you one point. Yeah, <laughs> Respectfully. Um, you had a nightmare and uh, yeah, a nightmare you is... went to watch the movie. Yeah. 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 They didn't okay. even get to go to movies, you know what I mean? Damn. Uh -huh. Damn. Yeah. What's movie back of time? For <laughs> What's TV? Oh yeah. <laughs> what is TV? What's Seriously. Computer TV. The only Double? thing we get to watch, our school makes us news. Do, news. Seven like, o'clock news. Seven o'clock news, because we have to write like what's oh, on the news. Everything. So we get to watch the news during summer break. Yeah, summer break you have homework, you know. Oh yeah, do you guys have homework in summer break? You gotta oh. read a book. Yeah. Okay, yeah we'll we have, have a lot so of homework. much homework. So we get to watch one hour TV, but it's news. Wow. What? <laughs> you know what? I can't even play this game. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can't beat y'all. It's okay, as long as you try. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you try, try. All right, All right Tiffany, Tiffany, you're up. Bring out some the big guns. I was like back of time when you know how we take bus every day. We always walk by ourselves and take bus ourselves like every day. It's always so crowded, so busy mm. in the bus. And then is a girl. You know, back of those time, there's some weird there guys in the car. Yeah. Uh, in the bus. That was when I was elementary. I think I haven't built up those things much, so I don't know too much. Only thing I know back of those times is like uncomfortable. At first, there's some high school guys. They were like getting closer behind you, and they were like pretend they're because it was so crowded. So people were, like literally touching each other. His hands like literally like you feel it's kind of like. But I was so small, I was trying to get away. But there's one time I feel so happy and lucky. There's a girl, I remember I tell you, she always stands so straight and she looking really nice. She's like a high school or college girl. There's one time she literally, I think she feels uncomfortable what I feel. She drags me, takes me over and walk behind to the back of the bus. She and thought. she stands behind me, protects me. <laughs> And that's not worse until one day I realized something it's just like when I was in just going to the middle school and there's an older guy. He's like literally our dad's age. He touches me, my back. And he trying to make conversation with me. So people thought he's my family related. But you know how my personality is so soft, so I talks back to him. He's like, oh so how are you? Like Oh, like, oh, and blah, 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 like, random shit. I don't remember the other thing, but he's kind of constantly touching me. But people are looking at me like they thought, like, we are related. At the end, when the bus stopped, I think he needs to get off the bus. He wanted to go down, but he didn't. He dragged, he takes my hand, and he's like, uh, oh, do you want to go with me? Like, I said no. I kind of, like, no, but you know how you didn't say it yeah. out? I tried to take my hands away. But he's like, um, I'm so nice. He's I will be nice to you. And like, I don't remember the words, but it's kind of like he won't take me off the bus. And he's like, say bye to me. He feels like I don't want to, but people are looking. So he's like, say bye to me. And he finally got off the bus. I was so scared. And, and I just feel so embarrassed because people are looking at us like confusing. And it's just, oh, disgusted. Oh, you're disgusting, those people. I can't imagine if my future child or girl experiencing yeah. those on bus, I would probably take always take them to the school or something. They're disgusting, but back of time, I don't feel anything. I probably just feel they're uncomfortable until later on I realize it's yeah. not just uncomfortable, it's sexual harassment. Like when you get an adult, you suddenly it's, realize, oh my yes, god, it's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, but like back then you're so you confused know. and you're we like, so I'm little. so, Elementary, yeah, you don't, know anything. you don't even know what they're trying to do. So you're like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, yeah. I just feel it's weird. Just, uh, yeah, weird. Yes. Why they're touching me and stuff yeah. and talking to you. Okay, do you have this feeling? Like sometimes when I think back at it, there are certain like older adishes in my life, like oh. church adishes or yeah. even family friends. Most of them, you know, and I know like in America, it's like a little bit more sensitive this way, but most of them would be like, here, come sit on my lap and like, let's like eat this. I would say like 50% of the time, I felt completely fine sitting on their lap. Like they literally were just like being nice. Yeah. You know, they're like, you're short, right? But I remember like the other 50% of the time, it just doesn't feel right. Even though they're yeah. doing the same thing as like my other uncles, 
it's just like there's something that's like weird. Mm. Like I would sit on like my emo boo's lap all the time, like my koma boo's lap yeah. all the time, mm -hmm. right? And never feel anything. But then like randomly there are some of these like church adoshis and you sit on their lap and you just like instantly you're like I want to leave. That's what girls can feel it. You can just feel it as a kid yeah. too. But that's alarming because it's a good half if not majority that you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's like a really dark. I give that um an officer. Well on the bright note Tiffany you win it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's trying to liven it up okay guys. I don't know. Tiffany can you help me think of something? <laughs> You don't know anything. It's your trauma. This is our waking up in 5 a.m., like even summer break. Like, oh, that's trauma? Waking up at 5? No, that's this. No, I need to wake up at 5 now. <laughs> I need to share one more and then we're like at the same numbers. Like, like you get 4? 4 4? No, I only I haven't done my last one. Oh, okay. Well, should I give a trauma what you think? Sure, sure. This is a light trauma. Right, we're gonna ma mix and match the heavy and the like. <laughs> this happened at a church retreat. Another <laughs> church. This is actually a different Dang, church, church though. Must have, oh. This is a different church, yeah. So this church retreat I went on because my mom was like, maybe the problem isn't you. Maybe you need to go to a different church. The problem was me because I'm I was so eager to please people. That has been like a reoccurring theme in my life. Oh, what's interesting is that he's always like, you don't like to think back at like your old high school days and like nostalgia. I hate it. I actually get so agitated when people bring up my old days. Like if my mom brings up middle school or high school, I get agitated and I just want the conversation to be over with. But I, I can't say it because I feel bad because I want her to cherish those memories. She's like, remember in high school we used to do this. I'm like, mm -hmm, but I hate it because until maybe like probably when I moved to LA and even when I was in LA and I first started making friends, I don't even know who I was. Like every person I was with, I just tried to be whatever they wanted me to be. I'm so disgusted by that now. So like thinking back at the fact that I did that makes me hate myself so much that like I can't think about it. Otherwise I will literally just die. So anyway, I think I found myself guys through therapy and through other means. You guys have helped me find myself. YouTube has really helped me find myself, weirdly enough. I know that sounds like cringy YouTuber, like, you guys saved my life. It's like I was able to like find out things I liked and who I am and stuff. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was at a church retreat, right? And tell me why they're making you do this at church. The girls, it was like an icebreaker time. So they brought all the girls into the hotel room that they were gonna be staying at. And we're sitting all on the bed. These are all new girls that I've never met. So immediately I'm like, how do I get them to like me? How do I get accepted into this group? Because I've never accepted into any group and the counselor goes okay we're gonna go around and list one thing we hate first of all you're Christian you shouldn't hate anything except maybe Satan so every girl is going around and they're like saying things that they hate and everyone's like oh my god yes right and I remember when it gets to me everything that immediately came to mind I saw it on the girls like I'd be like oh I really hate this hairstyle I'm thinking it and then like a girl had that hairstyle. So I'm like, I can't even say what I want to say because I don't want any of these girls to feel uncomfortable and not like me. So I'm thinking like, okay, like just say something random. And I remember blurting out, I really hate when people wear like purple and brown and everyone goes quiet. Why? So, and the counselor looks at me and goes, you're wearing purple and brown. Oh my God. What? So you're I wasn't purple, it was pink. And I remember the exact outfit I was wearing. It was pink and brown and it was from Limited 2. And it was like this really weird skirt and this shirt that had like 52 written on it and like pink sparkles, like pink sparkly like oh, rhinestones. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. and it had like pink edges here. And it was like a set, like a brown skirt and then like the pink. I was like, I really hate it when people wear pink and brown. And I was wearing pink and brown. Um, needless so, to say. What did you do after? Like, how did you react? Well, I almost cried, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really make any friends that round either. Oh. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like, when you put on the spot and stuff. Yes! Right? Like when, I, when we first came to America, because we don't speak English, when we're in like class, I hate... Introduction, right? Yeah, that is not the worst. The worst is they make you read paragraphs. Oh. Oh, yeah. You, like, okay. they, everybody read a paragraph, right? Even as a native English speaker... No, actually, I'm a native Korean speaker, I guess. But, like, as a primary English speaker, it was nerve-wracking. I is would there? even... Because you don't want to mumble. Yeah, so you would count, right? You would count and see where you is your paragraph. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. My teacher was nice. They, they let me skip me. 
Oh, this gift you? Oh my god. And it was like literature. So you were reading like olden day English? I don't even know what the how to pronounce like like 80% of the words. And then PowerPoint so presentation? In like in middle school? Yeah. Oh my god. I guess this everybody can relate to this. Oh my bro. Okay, I, I'll just give one last one. Uh, this is the time. Tiffany, you know what, growing up I always pee the bed. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Serial oh, killer. Yes, the yes. dark triad. Did you set things on fire? Every night. When's the last time you guys paid the bed? How old were you? Wait, you're not telling me you were peeing on like, until now. Like middle school? Probably elementary or something? I was like 18 when I peed the bed. Oh. Eight. But like I, once in a while yeah. is normal. Like once in a while, but what bed. happened though? I just you peed had the a bed. Nightmare? No, I literally had a bat like a like, dream where I was going to the bathroom. I almost peed the bed oh, the other day. Going to the I bathroom. almost peed yeah. the bed the that other day. Happened. Yeah, that's yeah. normal. That's normal. Oh, okay. So anyways, I pee the bed a lot. Which is a sign of yeah. He he has to go to doctor for it. Like my what? grandparents really? took him. Yeah, I remember grandparents even feeding you so much random stuff and also take you to the doctor. To a sign check. of peeing the bed is not usually a what does that mean though? Problem. It's stressed, usually a. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, his house or uh, in mentally or something. Yeah. Up. It was to a point that so basically I would pee the bed. I wake up, find out I pee the bed. <laughs> my grandma oh my will whip me, and uh, they will. She will kick me to a separate room, make me like just sit there basically because I don't have a bed to sleep on. And then we'll, we'll, I'll put up like a heater, I'll put like my blanket in front of the heater to let it dry. And I'll just sit there all night <laughs> waiting for the blanket to dry. And then she will kind of whip me, right? To a point that it was so bad that I'm like every night before bed, I will sit there and pray. I'm not religious. I was like, dear God, please, please <laughs> make sure I don't pee the bed tonight. Like, please. <laughs> I was like, please, please, please. For whatever reason, every time I prayed, it worked. What? Now I think back, I think it's like you're telling your brain, subconsciously me, telling your yeah. brain, please don't pee, please don't pee. One night I forgot to pray, oh and that God. night I peed the bed. Again, there was a few times it was bad. I woke up, I realized, you know, sometimes you pee in the middle of the night, well, you woke up, I was like, oh, it felt kind of dry today. Because <laughs> they all like soaked into the bed. Yeah. So I just folded up the bed and I went to school. Ah! <laughs> and then they found out, obviously. And then I got beat when I get home. Uh, again. Again, yes. Yeah. And then in school, I don't want to move too much. Because I feel like I smell really bad. I probably yeah. did smell. <laughs> That's like huge trauma. I think that beats your character. Oh. I think this is like serial killer. Because <laughs> serial killers have three things. Pee on the bed? Pee the bed, they kill animals, and they set fires. I don't think he killed, he won't He animals. didn't kill animals and he didn't set fires, Well, but my next trauma is... You set a fire? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, no way. Wait, really? They, serial killers pee? Yeah. They always do that. So usually a sign of peeing, you're mentally too stressed as a kid. Like, you're dealing with a lot of toxic stress that a kid should not have. Like you don't really feel safe in your environment, so you end oh, up peeing the bed. You're a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know this story, but every time I hear this story, it makes me so sad. So I feel like so everything is just because of our grandparents. Yeah, all grandma. grandma. Mine was 18 year old um, boys when I was 13. And church. And church. 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 What about you? Then me? Is Dinosaur? Dinosaurs <laughs> and sticks. I have Harry Potter trauma too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys so know that one. Wait, I, get, I think that was a serial killer one. No. <laughs> That's serial killer. That's serial killer. Bro. What's serial killer? You can't be serial killer. Be the like five? Yeah. yeah. Peeing yourself that much and then getting in trouble for it is bad. Like yeah. kids shouldn't get in trouble yeah, for Yeah, because most of them are causing it's come from trauma. Yeah. That's why you pee on your bed. Did I pee my bed that much? Like even when I was 18 no. and I peed my bed. <laughs> yeah, they give you so much medicine and stuff to help you. And you know, he told me this story where he peed the bed so many times. One time he woke up in the middle of the night and he had peed some of it. And he went and saw that his grandpa was still awake, like your all's grandpa. And you they they set up the bed in front of like the heater to let it dry, and both of them were sitting there. Oh my god. The rest so of the night. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know what to say. Grandpa was like telling me stories. Yeah. Oh, grandpa is so sweet. Grandpa's always the sweetest. I know. Oh, telling him about being on the back. There's one time, you know how grandpa's mom, we call grand grandma? Great grandma. Great, Great grandma. grandma. Me and her was sleeping on the same bed. I pee on the bed. And I blame me on my grandma. <laughs> no, it's not me. It's my great grandma. <laughs>
No, what happened? And of course it's me. Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. One time I visited my ex in college and he peed on me in our sleep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you see the bed? <laughs> He like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was all over me. <laughs> what did you do? Stephanie Sorry. liked it. No! <laughs> she said, Golden shower. And <laughs> what's crazy is I told this story before on YouTube, and people were so mad at me for being upset that he peed on me. But what? I just want to say this guy was horrible. He, like, he was weird. He also, like, thought it was funny to. Never mind. What? I'm not going to go there right now. All right, so let's count the points. Coming in number four. We have, drum roll, we have our dinosaur boy, Jaja, with four points. Four oh. points. No. Coming in number three, drum roll, we have our church girl, church holy girl, Stephanie at seven points. Seven, okay. Coming in number two, we got Tiffany, we have our Panda boy! Panda boy! Panda boy. Panda boy. And then the trauma girl comes in number one Woo! with 11 points. Trauma girl! Woo! Thank you, Grandma. I want to thank the church and I want to thank Nintendo and Chappaghetti. Thank you, Grandma. I want to thank Grandma. Dinosaur. Jurassic Park. And Harry Potter. And Harry Potter. Yeah. So thank you guys for listening to our trauma and thank you guys for giving us trauma awards that I feel like we really deserved. <laughs> this is supposed to be like a edgy take on how the society feels like a trauma comp. I just made that up. I just made that up. But it's kind of interesting now because yeah. sometimes you go in the comments of TikTok and some girl will be like, did you guys know that I had to run a mile every day? <laughs> and someone in the comments would be like, well, I don't fucking have legs. <laughs> and you're like, what? Hey! Dude, it's like the most, what the f***? Okay. Yo, comment section though, I, I know what you're talking about. Yes! It gets so brutal. Oh my god, there was one that was like, Oh, kids these days don't, don't even say trick or treat. They were just making a joke out of it and the comments were like, well, okay, I wow. wish my kid could talk. Oh my god. And it was just like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, whoa. That just humbles you. That just humbles yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, because those, and also um, talking about our trauma is just like, it's back off. Yeah, it's like know. a release. It's like really healing right yeah. now. We don't feel in it that much anymore. Yeah, just I mean, sharing. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> we, For real, even though I came through, <laughs> I still feel like. I'm growing up fine. Did you oh, see me fine, right? That's yeah. weird. Yeah, I cry myself to sleep every night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Normally, when he tells me his trauma, like we have moments, and I cry too. But then sometimes, I have to ignore him. <laughs> I have to be like, shut up, dude. Because I'll be online shopping at shoes, and he's like, in China? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One my pair. One pair. My toe. <laughs> like this, my toe. I'm like, bro, bro, stop. So uh, let us know if you guys want a part two for this and if we should feature anybody else because I got more. Like, while we were talking, you got more trauma. I was remembering some trauma and like, I didn't even go that dark, you know? The minute that I start talking about the 18 year olds that I dated as a 13 year old, I could go on for days. Oh yeah, and if I ever see one of them out in these dirty streets, you're getting decked in the face. You guys better get bail money ready. I want everyone to put aside $5 each for when I go to jail. You guys gotta send me that bail money because I'll be out here punching these dudes in the face. I'm just kidding, I'll probably have fight or flight and I'll freeze and die. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah!